Okay. Three, two, one, go. Um. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll just have to hope for good luck here. everything else about the run has gotten faster and more consistent Megan has gotten worse yeah I know we get... I feel like we've not really changed anything about that fight yeah on nights where it works out with her it's like it works so well I don't even question our strategies but then on nights when this where it's just a choke point uh, I don't know into the sinkhole. Nice. <clears throat> no, this has nothing to do with anything else, but I think it would be kind of funny is if we um, get really into playing I mean the ref might work for this but um, the game that most readily comes to mind when we're playing satisfactory and then get into it for a little while and have a world going and then convince Brian to play satisfactory with us <laughs> but in, what we have done is created the most nonsense factory <laughs> almost uh, let's game it out style <laughs> And just see if Brian could, could stand. Just, could stand it. <laughs> Dude, the easiest way to do that would be to uh, load up Factorio and just and decimate it. Yeah, and then get him and his brother on one night to be like, hey, can you guys like critique our work? We're pretty proud of this. <laughs> Dude, oh, I, I miss playing with that guy, and I just feel like that would be a good way to bring <laughs> to bring him back in. Dude, I know. <laughs> it's just create a nightmare and be like, dude, you know, we were giving it a shot so that we could catch up to you and your brother. Yeah. <laughs> just show him a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, they've both been uh, super into Elden Ring, but they're on PS5. And their available playtime is like way off from mine. Like I don't get online until they've gone to bed for a few hours. So he keeps wanting me to pick it up on PS4 to play with him, and I'm like, well, I mean, I I'll pick it up, but honestly, I just I, the odds of us being online at the same time are real low right now. His brother is like a early morning guy. Apparently, he's like often in bed by eight her time their time too i don't think they're in a different time zone he's just he does not stay up late at all Yeah. It's not even cross play across 
consoles. I thought that it was. Like, I guess maybe, maybe I just assumed that it was. Oh, it's not? But, um, no. Because, I thought PS4 uh, could play with PS5. PS4 and PS5 can play together. But they can't play with Xbox. Oh, I guess that would be cross-generational. <laughs> then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a separate... Oh, yeah, yeah, because um, Justin and I, I was going to, Justin was telling me about stuff, and I told him like where I was at and everything, and um, I told him about this BS dragon that I was fighting, but like I guess I got it too far away from what was considered its zone, so it despawned and respawned back in this like, lava lake. Oh, um, no. It kept its health, but it completely reset the dynamic of the fight, because it was like two to three shots to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, completely destroyed the flow of the fight and then I lost oh man like, alright dude I was like come on let's take this thing out like I don't even feel bad like cause I kinda like going through and getting my solo runs I mean I use ashes or whatever and some people don't mind say that's they're not really playing the game I'm dude like, yeah <laughs> the, the ashes are in the game the, yeah the developers put these things in the game like if you wanna like try hard like play the hardest way possible good on you but I can't stand when I see people getting all judgy over that sort of thing. Yeah, because people use magic or use the sword of night and flame or whatever. Yeah. Which has been nerfed and, like, use the ashes or use the NPC summon. Like, dude, these are all fine features that were included. It's like, whatever. But anyway, yeah. I was like, all right, Justin, let's go take out this guy. <laughs> and then he put down his summon sign. I set up the password. I used my pearl calling finger or whatever. And we were like, dude, I don't know, just try to put it down over here instead. And then finally, one of us looked after like 10 or 15 minutes, and we're like, oh, snap, it's not, you can't play PlayStation to Xbox, so we just both assumed. Aww. And we just assumed that, like, PC was out of the loop. Yeah. Like it is in some games. I never even considered that, because I never think about the Souls games being on Xbox at all. <laughs> I forget that they are. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like such a PlayStation series because, I guess because Demon Souls and Bloodborne, right? It's just, it's yeah. Just like the whole series is. Yeah, I guess Dark Souls one, two, and three are like on everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Dark Souls one's even on Switch, but. All right, got the boy. Um. Yeah, that's that's lame, but I don't think Bandai has ever made an effort for. Uh, cross platform, so I mean, if that makes sense. What all else does Bandai make? They make a lot of games that, like, a lot of their library of stuff that sells better in Japan or is not on an Xbox console at all, right? Because they've got like the Tales games, yeah. The Code Vein's probably games. the closest thing to Souls, uh, Code so, Vein like, and like their Monster Hunter rip-off series uh god eater but um if bandai if bandai namco is the publisher would it be more on them to set up the cross play cross platform play or i think the they host this they host the servers right hey, I, I, I think so but i don't know i don't know the the strict details and all of that i'm basing that off of when um Atlas dropped Demon Souls servers. Some other company picked them up and launched their own version of it, and it had nothing to do with FromSoft. Mm, okay. So yeah, if that's the case, then it would be on them. But really, really, what I was getting at is, so many of Bandai Namco's games are either on Sony consoles or are just more popular in Japan. Yeah. That maybe they just don't even consider, but that it's like they almost forget about the the Xbox portion because <laughs> Xbox has sold what like ten consoles in Japan. Ever. <laughs> it's they, it's abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like whatever. Yeah. What? We're not selling. We're not. Who cares? Yeah. Like, these aren't these aren't numbers right here. I'm looking at. It's yeah. It's just literally <laughs> not cost effective for them to consider it. Yeah. Like, I guess their biggest thing, and possibly their biggest game that would benefit from it, is like Tekken, right? Aside from Elden Ring, because it's been such a smash success. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, even yeah. For, like, even for the Soulsborne genre, it's been such a smash. 
Yeah, it was uh, like 12 million copies or something yeah. in the month. Yeah. That's crazy. And um, like Tekken is their next biggest thing. That would probably be a game where cross-platform play would really aid it because, I mean, yeah, there, there's an arcade and a story mode. But, I mean, people are playing it for PvP. Yeah. yeah. And that just keeps the player base higher when there's more players. Dude, the character creator is insane. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it, I feel like I get this pretty cheap on Steam every now and then. If you ever get a copy, we should, like, co op that game and make some abominations. Alright, it works. Oh, nice, dude. Finally, a run past the boss. A run. <laughs> Oh, you went so fast, my game just dropped all the frames trying to find you. <laughs> like, nice. you were a blur coming through there. It felt good. <laughs> Pressure is on now. Yeah. For the rest of this. <laughs> oh no. Come on, elevator, be kind. Yeah, Code Vein's fun. It just. I feel like if it were a simpler game, it would have gone better. Oh Duh, no. Son of a bitch. Was that you? Well, okay, I'm going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm the one that went backwards. Um, oh my god, if we don't get if we don't get bricked first by this swim, <laughs> there might still be a chance because you need to. It works out best when you hit the elevator button first. You know? Yeah. So as long as the as long as we make it through this, there's still a chance. Yeah, I feel like Code Vein has a bunch of, like, background uh, systems and mechanics to it that don't really amount to much and just kind of clutter it. If it were as yeah. simple as, like, Dark Souls, I think it would have gone a lot better. But I played, like, 15 hours or so of it and really enjoyed it. Me and Daniel co opt a bunch of it for fun. How is the co-op system? Is it like, is it, is it like, a, does it have a simple system where you can just get together and play, or does it have a souls type system that requires items? And after you beat a boss, then it messes up, or not messes up, but it sends somebody home, and you have to summon again. Yeah, it's basically that. the the soul system. Like you have to like go into each other's worlds to fight the bosses, but it's real easy to find each other. Like, I think it has a password system. Uh, it's like, with Souls games, the way that it works, is like, part of me... It's like, I kind of like it from, like, the world standpoint. From the practicality standpoint, standpoint to, like, load in and play with a buddy. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're hit. Okay, I'm pressing got it, it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, okay. I, I see oh. you through. I'm, out. I'm stuck in the door. I'm through. <laughs> no, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, there's a cat in the way of my monitor. Please, <laughs> stop. Hang out. He's he can, he's welcome to stand here and rub on the computer case because I can see. Just please don't step on the keyboard. Oh. 
don't know. If it's it's so close. I don't know. I have fourteen fifty one point seven three. I have fourteen fifty one as well. 